good evening class or morning or whatever. Are you ready to learn a little bit about a video editing program by a little company called Adobe using their application called Adobe Premiere? I hope you said yes. Adobe Premiere, engage. Okay, so we are engaging or activating or starting up Adobe Premiere Pro. Upon that opening, you are going to see a very similar window as Photoshop and Illustrator. We are going to create a new project. Now, we're dealing with video stuff now, so this is a little more tricky. Uh, everything takes longer, um, it's harder on the computers, all that action. Okay, so new project. This opens up. We're going to call it uh, CIS Vid Demo. And uh, yeah, that looks good. Looks good, CIS vid demo. Let's do, okay, so we got, um, look at all these uh, video and audio and capture. Um, we want all those settings to look like that. Okay, we're gonna hit okay. Now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna create about a 10 second video, maybe 15 second video, and Let's make it uh, usable for uh, YouTube. Make it, and then maybe you could use it as an ad on Instagram or something like that. Uh, as you can see, everything takes a lot longer to queue up, but it's thinking right now. So I've used this on commercials and uh, demo videos. Um, just fun family videos, you know, going to the motocross track. Uh, so this is a great video editing program. Uh, also, uh, this is a professional grade video editing program. So even a lot of the movies that you see at the theater use Adobe Premiere, which is quite exciting. And um, after you edit in Adobe Premiere, you can use their other program called uh, Adobe After Effects. And that's how you can do some really crazy stuff. Okay, so it's opening up here. I'm gonna try to slide it over to the window where you can see it. Now, the least amount of programs you have open while you use this, the better because this takes a lot of computer uh, random access memory. RAM, if you will. So yeah, so uh, After Effects is used in, you know, Superman, Batman, uh, all the big dog movie productions. So, but this is Adobe Premiere where you'd want to start uh, editing video. Now I haven't opened this in about two months. I did a massive project uh, for a DUI campaign and I stared at this program for like three months straight and so I haven't touched it in like two months because I was like, dude, I need a break. Okay, so uh, let's import some media to start. Down here, uh, this is where we will insert media. Media can be anything. So let's say I uh, let's say I just drug in off my desktop a screenshot, and this was Christine's work right here, and I can drag it in right here into the sequence.
Okay, so once I drag it in there, then it creates a timeline. So this this track is where all your videos are going to go. And you can put videos up here, you can put videos up here. And again, whatever's on the top is what you'll see first. So this is a lot like layers in Photoshop. Okay, so whatever's on the top, you'll see first. So let me drag in another piece of content. Let's drag in um, Tristan's uh, website piece that she made, her skin. And I will put that right there. And this is your uh, timeline scroller right here. And this, as you can see, as I move it, it's going along the timeline. And it's going into Tristan's piece. So if I put Tristan's on top, or over um, Christine's, you'd only see Tristan's because Tristan's is covering <clears throat> hers. Now look at this. You can, I can select Trist or uh, this website skin, and I can right here scale it down. Up or down. See that? And then I can move it to any position by moving it that way. Okay. So now, and then it's also got, you know, the ability to do these blend modes like you saw in Photoshop or used in Photoshop. So I just put it on multiply or overlay or hard light. Okay. But we're going to leave it at normal right now. Okay. So I just wanted to show you. So <clears throat> that's just a quickie. Um, I'm going to put hers back over here. We'll put it, we're going to put hers back at 100 and then uh, position it centered again. Scale it up a little bit. Uh, So I'm just left clicking and pushing up or down, or you can manually insert the numbers. Left click and I'm moving the mouse forward and backwards. Okay, so then let's say I wanted um, Dylan's piece. I'm gonna put it into my uh, project here. And Dylan's screenshot can go right here. And it doesn't matter what track I put it on, you know, as long as they're not covering each other. So now if I slide this timeline slider, I'm going to see Dylan's piece. Okay, and then we'll uh, bring in uh, Dewey's, Dewey's piece. And I like some you know you can leave them on the same timeline if you want if they're not covering each other okay see that so now if I were to um, play this I can hit spacebar to play it and keep in mind uh, this playback or is set at quarter resolution you can do it at full but it's a lot easier to edit if you have it at just a quarter that way it can uh, it doesn't have to render it completely. So it's going to play this one for a while, then it's going to move to this one. And you see my timeline sliders moving. And then it's going to play this one. And then next it'll play Dewey's. Okay, so that was our movie so far. <clears throat> now let's bring in a little audio. A little audio ambiance. Uh, um, as far as audio, I'm going to try to bring this in. Let's see. 
might not like that. I, okay, so I'm, I have, uh, what is that called? iTunes open. It's really about your computer. Okay, so it did work. Okay, so now I just dragged in this song. called City Angels. Let's let's hear it. Let's play it. Let's play our movie. <laughs> using screenshots uh, and still images but you can use video and maybe I should get some video in here just to give you an idea uh, let's see so let me find some video let's drag in Let's try to drag in our final project review, which was the recent YouTube video that we just filmed, talking about your final projects. So this this is really cool. You can make some good money uh, doing video editing for companies and corporations to create videos and. Uh, maybe trade show videos, um, content for people's website, things like that. So I'm just dragging in that final project. Uh, what is it? It's an MP4. Okay, so we got uh, screenshots, which are a PNG, and we just put in an MP4. Now, as you can see, uh, this is the track that belongs to my video of me talking, right? So let's see, can you hear it? Let's go to... Okay, so my voice is right on this track right here. But maybe I only want the uh, viewer to hear the music only. So what I can do is right click this, right click this track. And here's a bunch of other options. You got like, you can go into slow motion or speed it things up. Um, and uh, what I wanted to show you is unlink. So what that'll do is unlink the audio from the video. So I just hit unlink. <clears throat> now I can select one of these and delete one. Uh, I'm going to delete the audio track. <clears throat> so I could I could do the opposite too where I just delete the video and just use the audio. So the way we cut down this video is at the end here you're going to see this red bracket form. What that is is I can left click and pull it in and now it's it'll be cut down in size and this down here it will make expand or contract your timeline so let's say I only want to use like a little bit of this video if 
I cut it down that much, you see uh, it shows a duration over there of how, how long that will be. Now I can use this to go adjust the size of the timeline more and really dial it in some more. So right now, what's that, 9 seconds, 10 seconds? <clears throat> so I'm finding an area of the video that I actually want to use. Okay, so what I also see is this uh, this video is too large for the screen, and so I'm going to shrink it down in size, maybe like right there, and so I know I I want like this section over here, and and you see it's I'm not deleting part of the video. I can I'm just making a viewable area of that particular piece of content. Okay, so a little bit further. I want to go to where we actually see some student work. I don't. And so I'm going to just find a section like that. scrubbing the timeline right now by holding this. So let's say I wanted to see that section right there. What's that look like? Maybe I want to do like a fast forward version of me talking about the student work. So I don't want the viewer to have to watch 40 seconds of this. Maybe to like right there. Okay, so I don't want them to have to watch, how long is that? 19 seconds, I want to only have to watch like five seconds, maybe. Uh, so I'm going to go, I'm going to, what I did is I selected the clip. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to speed and duration. It'll give me this to adjust how much speed I want. The speed of the clip. So let's try, um, let's try 800%. And now that cuts the clip down to three seconds. So let's look at that. Perfect. So it just kind of gives, gives the viewer an idea that you're going over something. Okay, so let's take uh, Let's take another piece of content, maybe something, uh, photo bash demo, maybe like this piece of content. This was the demo project that we did with the photo bash. So let's get that in there. So that was class three. And again, we got an audio track that came in as well. So what I want to do is right click, unlink, and I want to delete that audio track. Okay, so maybe you want to take this and 
just do the speed now. Do it at 800. It's probably an hour long video or something, so it cut it down to 10 minutes or so. Let's see how that looks though. So again, this needs to be scaled down. And instead of going 800%, let's go like 2000%. Uh, Cancel two thousand. Why is it not letting me? Let's go back by pressing undo. You still got undo like control Z. So speed and duration, I'm now at 100, let's go to 2,000. Oh, why is it doing that? Let's try this again. I just deleted the clip. I want to try it again by putting in a brand new one. Okay, so we're going to right click, unlink, delete. I'm going to right click and do the speed duration at 2000. Fudge! See if that works. What it's doing right now, I don't know. This is video editing. Cancel. Sometimes you just have to mess with it. Let's just crank it up this way. Let's say I want it at uh, I actually didn't know you can change it in this little bar too. Five seconds. That's five seconds. Okay. Well, that was cool. I actually never tried that. So, let's get this section. Let's take a look how that looks. the scale. So we're going to scale it like that. So there's a couple ways you can you can do that thing where you do this red bracket and you size it down or you can just cut it up. If you hit uh, C you can slice up. See I'm slicing it up. 
Okay, and then if I hit B, I got the uh, selection tool. I'm just going to like delete every other one. And to fill these little gaps, I can right click and hit ripple delete and it'll bring them in. Right click, ripple delete, right click, ripple delete. Now let's take a look at that. Okay, so I maybe even want to shorten that up even more, so I'll do turn that, I'll turn these all into like uh, three second clips. So ripple delete by right clicking. I'll turn this one into like three second. I'm looking at that duration. Turn this into three seconds. Okay. And then um, maybe I'll put in the final outcome version. Um, oh my gosh, how many windows do I have up right now? You should see my other screen, dude. It's covered in windows. <clears throat> I'm here on my desktop. I'm looking at my desktop right now because I have, I think, a finished version of this on my desktop somewhere. Oh my god, I have the most hoardiest desktop you've ever seen. Okay, so I'm going to go into this folder. And what I'm going to do is find the finished version of this. What was this project called? Photobash? found it. Almost there, guys. Just be patient. This is video editing. Be patient. So if I could find this, this would be really cool because it shows you like how you're doing it and then we'll have the final outcome. It'll be so rad! No, it's here somewhere. So close, I can feel it. Okay, let me try a different way to find it. <clears throat> You're on YouTube, so you can just fast forward right through this section of me looking for files. Photobash. Isn't that the darndest thing? Just dying to have that piece to finish it off.
apologize I was not more prepared to have this ready to go, but I thought it'd be easy to find. <clears throat> It's important to name your files, which apparently I didn't name this file. That's weird. I'm usually pretty darn good about that, but this time it sucked. Y'all gotta be kidding me. found it. <clears throat> oh, I see. I had photo space bash. So it wasn't coming up in my search. Okay, we're back, guys. I'm glad you fast forwarded through all that in, on YouTube. Okay, so what I'm going to do is plug this one in. Plug this one in. Maybe right here. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. So this will be the big reveal. Let's take a look at that. have the big reveal let's do um, let's throw in another version of that and I want to teach you how to kind of animate this so uh, I'm gonna animate it by picking a scale that I want Oops, I think I just did the scale of this one on accident yeah right there okay so this has got to be selected so here's the scale going up and down and I'll do this kind of like I'm going to start at this side <clears throat> and we're going to pick a position here so right here this is where the clip starts this is going to be how we do our animation Okay. And by animation, I mean the picture is just going to be like this, and then it's going to slide. Okay, so we're going to do that effect. Okay, so position, click. And what happens if I click that little stopwatch is this little dot goes here. Okay? As the timeline goes way over here, I want that picture to animate over to this direction. I want it to stop right there. As I let go of that, it created another little dot. So it has a dot saying the image starts in this position. As the timeline goes, it'll end in this position. So watch. If I play that space bar, it will slide like that. So this reveal, which will be this one, doesn't need to be that long. It can only be like two seconds, three maybe. Also, do uh, apply a transition. Let's apply it to this one. Apply a transition. If 
I right click, it'll give me that transition. And if you zoom in on it, where is it? It's right here. Ah! Okay, cross dissolve. So that gives me a cross dissolve. So what it means, it's going to get dim, and it's going to dissolve, and then my new video will pop up. So let's take a look at how that, and if you want to edit that, you got to hit cross dissolve, and it'll turn white. And then up here, we'll give you uh, like how long that cross dissolve is for that uh, cutscene or that transition. You also can change it to different uh, styles of uh, transition effects. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So let's take, uh, let's get an intro, um, let's see, let's get our intro for the beginning. Let me get my fancy intro. This is it. So I'm going to slide in my fancy intro, which in this particular file it's called a sequence. I'm going to use it at the end, I'm going to use it at the beginning. So I'm going to just throw these in. I'm going to move those around in a minute. But um, if I left click and select all the uh, videos I want to move, I could slide them all at once. That'll make room for me to take this little intro block. That's going to be like the one. That's going to have my. So do I want that sound? I don't think I do. Um, it's a little invasive. So I'm going to unlink those, select my sound, and delete it. And I may even want to stretch it out a little bit. Let's see if I can. Right click. Go to speed duration. We'll do it at like 200%. Oh, I don't want to do it at 200%. I want to do it at negative 200% because I want it to go slower. Negative 200. No, I want it to go at like 50%. Sorry. Sometimes you have to use your brain. So see, it's like twice as long now. And the size is wrong. Let's change the scale. Let's do it like, just do it like that. Let's add a transition. Let's make this speed even longer. Let's zoom in and check out our transition. All right. Okay, so this is a transition cross dissolve, so it'll start from black now. Now, I think it takes too long for the music to start, so I'm going to start the music like 
like that. I cut the beginning of the song down and I slid it over. Now it'll be like, I want my crosses all to be about as long as that intro. And now that I have that, do I even want the crosses all? Let's see without it. So now I'm noticing my videos, my intro is way too long. So I want to do speed and duration. Let's look at that again. Let's go back to 100% and see how long is that? That's four seconds. I even think that's too long. So let's do 133% um, speed. That'll knock it down a bit. Good. Okay, so, but we want like the title of the class. So, um, let's see if we have anything that we already created describing the title of the class. We did do a logo. <clears throat> I think we did. So I'm going to try to find that logo. CIS 73 logo. right in here. Don't you worry, we'll find it quickly. And so you can bring in PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs. It'll also keep that clear background on the PNGs. It'll keep the transparent backgrounds, which is totally awesome. And you can do all kinds of weird stuff. Um, this actual intro is made in Adobe Premiere using those animations and the uh, multiplication uh, overlays and stuff like that. So we have this logo here, but it really sucks. Um, that's not the one I wanted to use. <clears throat> okay, taking too long. All right, so let's do a title. Let's do a title. So um, how do we do that? We're going to create a title. Uh, and I usually make uh, any, I 
I usually make it in Illustrator and then bring it in. But I want to show you how to do it inside this actual program. Okay. I know I'm looking at it. And click and click. So, uh, <clears throat> C I S C I S dash seventy seventy three. This class is called Intro to the Adobe. Suite. Okay, so again, you can mess with the position of this. And then over here, you can see that there's different fonts. Oh, you have to highlight it, I guess, to change the font. So I'm changing the font. And this is going to be all the fonts that you have available in Illustrator and Photoshop, too. So you can go to your font folder and add to this too that's on your on your machine. And I'm just gonna pick one that just kind of fits the class style. So when you play this back, it's gonna be playing at a quarter quality. So don't worry because when you export it, it's gonna be at full quality. <clears throat> I like this font, but it doesn't have the uh, dash symbol. Some fonts just don't have certain characters. Um, maybe we'll just not even use it. CIS 73 Ado intro to Adobe. So that looks good. Uh, we're going to mess with the position. And I'm right clicking, hitting ripple, delete. So let's see what, how long is that? Four seconds, let's shave it down to four even. Um, Somehow I lost the word sweet. It was too long. I want it all on one line, so um, in order to do that, I need to shrink down the size of these. So where's my size? Is this it? Intro to the Adobe Suite. Okay, so that, where's the E though? Maybe it needs to be shrunk down even more. Okay, so there's, and you can uh, use your selection arrow to center it. So let's look at that. Intro to the Adobe Suite. Now I'm going to do a little animation to that as well. Watch this. So as we come in, I want the opacity to be at 100%. Uh, one of these says opacity. Yeah, 100%. So I'm going to hit that 
stopwatch. But as it comes in, I want it to be at zero. Sorry, I want this to be at zero. So now watch when it comes in, it kind of fades in. So let's move this over a little bit so it fades in a little slower. All right, and then I want it to fade out at the end of the four seconds. So that will get, you can press this little thing to add or remove a keyframe. And it's, if I add that, it'd be 100% here. And 0% there. So let's take a look at that. It slides in. And it fades out. Okay. Now I want a little bit of like, I want it to go kind of, I want it to come in and then I want it to go like, like in size, like, like twitching. Okay, so scale, boom, it's gonna be that scale. Okay, and seconds after that, it's gonna go huge. And then half a second after that, it'll go back to very small and then back to 100%. Or whatever I had it at before, which was scale of 100. So I should say 100 right here. And in the in between all that, I'm gonna make it small again. We'll see what that does. Okay, so watch this. Come in. Okay, so it's got a little twitch there. That just kind of is custom. So if you do that on purpose, that's cool. You know, so let's take a look at that. Even spread it out a little bit. Let's see if it makes sense. I just deleted one keyframe. Okay, and so you can copy them all and do it again. I just selected them all. And then I hit uh, Command C. And then take my timeline where I want. Let's say I want it like right here. And I can paste it by doing Command V. So here we go, it'll do it twice now. All right. So that's kind of kind of unique, you know? Um, you could also, it can be rotated too by doing like, you know, uh, we'll click one regular, like, so that's straight horizontal. And then as you move a little, maybe it twitches this way and then goes back to zero. Let's see if we like that. Okay, so maybe we throw that in the middle somehow. Right there, let's see what that looks like. with um, mess with the opacity too in here so I know this is getting complex but that's what's cool it's like you can just get weird on it um, so opacity uh, we'll hit a marker here we'll move just a fraction of it we'll go all the way down to like very light gray like that and back to 100 okay let's take a look at that it's very 
or so. Let's see what that looks like. You can see it shift a little bit in uh, grayscale. I just copy pasted it again. So that's that's pretty sweet. We'll add a transition to um, Christine's piece. So you can decide if it goes on to both of them. Oh, right there. So see how it's going from the text one on to Christine's. And maybe you just want it on Christine's. Okay. So I think we, we're going to add more examples, but here we go. Let's take a look at our video from the from beginning. Action. Okay, so I want that that initial sound to start right out the gate. So here we go. Now let's watch our video. That could be something. So that's getting at a minute long. <laughs> so keep in mind, we wanted to do a 15 second video. So we, we're just, we're spitballing. So uh, maybe this will turn into a one minute commercial. So I want, this is uh, my intro. I want to take this intro, control C, control V, and I just pasted it. Now what'd be cool is, uh, see this break here in the audio? It'd be cool if we had transition here and out situation. Watch this. If it was like this, if it ended like this. Okay, that'd be sick. So, so pay attention to your music tracks and uh, stuff of that sort. So, now that was real shifty when we watched it, but like I said, it'll smooth out uh, when it actually exports the real deal. So I think we should get, mm, Couple more samples. Of 
So we need a few more samples of work. So like we did this one. shrink them by selecting the multiple ones. Oh, maybe you can. So let's put uh, the other thing I notice is like this one looks great, um, stagnant, but let's put a little movement in it on Christine's. So her position starts here and wait, let's scale this up a bit so we can get just a little movement out of it. So scale, when it starts out, let's make it bigger. So watch this. Okay, same with um, Tristan's. We'll do a similar thing. Um, I think I can just copy this left. Okay, so let's take Tristan's. Same thing, we'll start it out, uh, start the scale out. That big. And then when it finishes, when it finishes, it'll be about this big. So let's look at that. And we need a transition. So Christine's backs out. We come into Tristan's. We'll do a little uh, action on Dylan's. Dylan's is not really set up for movie size. But we can do his like his scrolls from here. Boom, boom. And the position changes to the top. Let's move Dylan's like this. Okay. There's a transition on Dylan's. Looks nice and pretty. Do a transition on Dewey's. And hers. And start out here. scroll up and down too. 
start with the eyes. So I want to lock that position. And as I get to the end of the shot, I want it to go to about right there. Also scale up a little. Okay, so I'm going to push these to the edge, push these to the edge. Okay, let's look at uh, Dewey's now. This one was just kind of filler. So this one. Start it right there, scale. for now where you can't see that one line so if I turn this on and off that'll turn off the visuals of a certain track just till I get this where I want it um, that's where I want it <clears throat> put a little up and down movement to it That's where I want that position up and down. And as it comes let's see how that looks. Good. Okay, let's move these to the edge of the clip. Just take a look at that. Oh, we need a transition. Right click, apply transition. Here we go. Let's get this back on. We'll move this over here for a minute. So we start at Dewey's. can be uh, cut down so cut uh, C I'm gonna cut that right there I'm gonna cut this one right there I'm gonna press V delete delete put that there um, and, uh, let's let's take a look at this all the way to the uh, all the way to the drop, audio drop. So that'll be smoother just to sped up. Anywho, how long is this video going so far? I don't know. Feels like a while. So let me show you. Let's say, let's say you wanted to end it. Okay, let's end it right here after that. So let's say we end the track there. 
I'm going to zoom in on it and pay attention to these little graph bars. Watch this. So right after this little that. So I want it to end right here. That'll be the end of our video. So if I could really get some more content to the end, that'd be dope. So, uh, so I'm going to bring in uh, Tristan's photo bash. Shrink it down to three seconds. And so that was Tristan. This is Tristan's underwater scene. Um, we got a really cool dinosaur one from uh, Christopher. So we got Christopher's dinosaur scene. We got uh, Tyler's. What's this? Tyler's weird character. Uh, I think this was Dewey's. Dewey's neat thing. And. I already get Dylan's. Okay, Dylan. Dylan's piece. Okay. So let's let's um, let's. This will be like our grand finale, right? So. Let's try to select all these new ones we just put in. Shrink them down in size. Okay, let me get closer. that so I want each one at how many seconds is this from here to here 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 so it's about six seconds so I need one two three four five so I need all these to be about one second or so Okay, we'll end with uh, another title, we'll just copy paste our title, this one, we'll uh, control C, move it over here, and when it goes, that'll have our title. Zoom in on 
this. Okay, so this is a little abrupt. Why do I keep hitting the spacebar to start the video over? So we can uh, edit this to where um, it also has a transition. Let's hear that. Maybe we can just do a huge transition like this. Okay, so let's just get some blackness in there. Like, uh, we'll take like, take like this. We're gonna take Christine's and use it as a Take the opacity all the way down so it's just like black. So I'm trying to make that end. Okay, so that uh, dwindles down to nothing there. Um, so the only thing is like these highlight reels at the end, these like grand finale little pieces, um, they need to be adjusted uh, scale wise. So we got that one. I know we're cropping off content, which kind of sucks. That one looks good in size. This one needs to go up. Nikolai Tesla. And hers could definitely be cool if we did it like... That could have some animation. We'll just leave it like that actually. So um, these transitions. Let's see if that even works. Do we need a transition? You don't always need one. So... 
let's take a look at a very short, abrupt transitions that we could do. And then we'll wrap this video up. And you guys will be production masters. Trying to get into this area right here. Okay, so cross to dissolve of maybe this big. So, we're going to go over to this one, set another cross dissolve. Very short ones. And I have it just at the beginning of each of these little clips right here. This will kind of be like our grand finale, if you will. Okay, let's see how that looks. So the only other thing I see it needs is, we'll take this, Put it on this track, bear with me. Put it up above and watch this. So we'll edit this text to say uh, student work. student work, okay? And it's got a transition also. Let's take a look at that. to fade out so soon. Okay, so let's try that. See, so we stole that animation. We just updated the text to what it says, but it still had the same movement, which also has consistency with other parts of the video. Same font, too. that there's some student work over here okay, so there's this is all student work so we're 
want to go on this track. Ah. Let's make it span from here. This also won't work. Yeah, right. That was a student demo, but or that was a teacher demo. We'll take it to there then. So I don't want it to fade out because this this right here is telling us where the opacity goes from 100% to zero. So we want it like that. Now it'll be over. We'll say student work. Okay, and this could say, uh, let's do another track, add track. So see that I added one more, I wrote, I right clicked right in here to do that. So let's add another track. Um, this one will say, uh, what am I, instructor demo? Instructor demo. So instructor demos. take this class it looks exciting all right so I think this video is done you're at a little over a minute um, that ain't bad let's just before we export this let's watch it one more time uh, from the beginning so it's at a quarter scale so it may be a little rough and patchy um, so here we go this is what we made So as you can see, you guys did some killer work. You went from nothing to something, and we were able to put this video together. Um, all it is is some music and stuff, but that's your work, man. You guys did so good. I'm really proud of you. I seriously am. So um, I know this class is ending, but uh, since you've been in this class, I want you to feel free uh, to call me. Um, just Google my name or my business. 
uh, Morgan Designs, and my number will come up. That's my cell. You're welcome to call me at any time to ask me questions. I'm not afraid to teach you after the class is over. Um, the videos will also be available on YouTube forever. Um, and so once you're in the class, you can still access those. So you might want to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be uploading new stuff. So uh, thank you guys for taking my class. Um, I really appreciate it. You guys, you guys were awesome. So have a good day. Have a good life. Bye.